All right. So for today, there are a couple things that I need to discuss. There's been some changes in the schedule. Put that away, Nigel, please. Um, so today we are going to complete the project. That is the question area of your project where you had, where at the very end, um, at the very end of the project, there's some questions. And it says part four, project analysis and conclusions. In class today, you're going to be answering these questions. There's five questions that you're going to answer, and then you're going to be turning this project in in class today. So you'll get about 20 minutes to 25 minutes to work on this and then turn this in. The other half of class is what we're going to be doing and what I'm discussing right now. Okay. Prior to this, prior to this week, um, I said we were going to have a test this Thursday on weather and climate, remember? Yeah. That is canceled. Only because our schedule has changed in regards to your midterm. It was going to be two weeks after you come back from Christmas break. Um, actually, it's one week after you come back now. So I need to be able to use this time to prepare you for that. In addition to when we come back doing some more preparation, because I don't want you to just have one week of preparation. I don't normally give uh, homework over the break and it's not going to be homework. However, you are going to have access to your study guide that when you have downtime on the break, which you will, there'll be times when you're bored and this is up to you. So don't shake your head. Yes or no. But this is totally up to you. You have access to your midterm. So you need to take um, initiative to step up with your priorities and do a little bit of studying for your midterm because it can't all be all on me. Some of it has to be on you. So if you look at um, what we'll be doing today, we'll be preparing for the midterm, which will be January the 13th. And I'm going to show you a calendar so you can see that that's not far away. Um, your homework tonight is going to be looking up and bringing in a game board design idea. Don't bring in a game board. You're going to bring in an idea because what we're going to be doing in class today after you do your project um, questions is you are going to be using your um, study guide that I gave you, which consists of 52 questions, but well, 52 areas. They're not 52 questions because they can be broken down to be about 60 questions um, if you word them correctly. But you and your group that you are sitting with, you're going to be creating um, game cards and you'll be putting questions on these game cards you'll break it up amongst the team so let's say you take 10 you take 10 you take 10 or you take 15 you take 15 and you'll be writing down the questions and the answers because you have to look in your notes so this is also another part of studying you'll be looking in your notes for the answers you'll be talking to your teammates so you'll get the question and the answer on this game card and on the, on your paper your study guide you have the question on a separate sheet of paper, I would write the answer so that you have an answer key for when you're studying. Does that make sense? Okay, so we'll be working at that today. In coming up with the game board design, when you go home, you're going to look on Pinterest or Google, look up some things to kind of look at some games that you like. How are those games designed? So when you come back with your group on tomorrow, you are going to be talking over what design is the best, deciding what design is the best, and then designing that game board. I will be bringing in boards for you to use um, for that matter, but you'll be designing a game board uh, from there using your pieces and we'll, we'll come up with some pieces so that we can play the games and switch them up so we can play the games throughout this week and we can play the games when you come back so that you are prepared for your midterm. Your homework also is to uh, organize all your notes and review for the midterm. So you should be doing that on a daily basis. Now, let's take a look at the calendar just so that you understand. We are only here this week. This is a half day. Oh, sorry. It is a half a day. This is our first and our only half day. So we do have a half day on this day. Um, because it's the last day before break. So pay attention, please, so that you have enough time to do what you need to do today. Mm -hmm. This day, our schedule our um, schedule is a little funny because this is our um, club day, and this is also the day that the eighth graders are coming over. So we will have a little bit of a different schedule there. So we have all of this week to prepare, plus a half a day Friday, but that's not a whole lot of time. Then you are on break all of this week. Yes. You are on break all of this week. Now, let me make sure you understand something. Normally do through these days, you're not really doing much. You're getting up late. You're just chilling out with your friends. You're going to bed late. These are times when you need to be taking five to ten questions, just kind of looking them over. I'm not asking you to do anything on this day. 
and, and again, this is totally up to you. I'm just giving you a suggestion of what a model student, someone that wants to pass their class and get an A would do. On this day here and this day here, these are days that you're normally spending with your family, obviously. It's Christmas Eve and it's Christmas Day. You're really spending that time with the family. <laughs> On these days here, you're now at the age where you're not getting baby dolls and doll houses and things of that nature where you're not putting things together and waking up early so you can play with your dolls and play with your action figures and your uh, race car sets. So on these days, after you've gotten up past 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you should be pulling out 10 questions, something like that, and kind of studying. These days here, these days, this is when you're telling your mom, I'm bored. I need something to do. Again, take 10 to 15 minutes. By then, you would have really covered your entire study guide, and then you just utilize time to go over it. On this day here, not asking you to do much there because this is New Year's Eve and you're spending your time with family, you're going over to relatives' houses and things of that nature. Now, moving on to January. January 1st, you're probably at a relative house eating, having fun, watching football. Saturday and Sunday, you're bored. Again, look it over. On the 4th and the 5th, you still do not have school. By, hand, by then, you are cabin fevered out. You've been home with your family. You kind of want to get out with your friends. That's fine. At least take 10 to 15 minutes. So now you've spent about two hours over the entire break studying. And it wasn't like you took two hours in a day. You did 10 to 15 minutes on certain days, and you've gotten some studying out the way. You return to school here on the 6th, and we will resume with reviewing on these days. You won't be having classes on these days. Well, on Monday you will, but on Tuesday because you have other exams, you have your science exam on this day. So that is how you break your time up so that you are making sure that you are studying. You will be getting some reminds from me saying, hey, don't forget, you need to be using this time wisely. I understand that it is a vacation, but you have a lot of time to do that. Any questions about that? Yes. Why would we be on break? I don't normally give you work over a break, you know that. However, since the schedule has moved up, it was scheduled for this week, which meant that we came back, we would have this week to review and a little bit of this week. If Since it's moved up, you have to utilize that time. Same thing if, when I'm in college. I'm on break, however, I may have assignments that need to be done. It's school, you still have to do what you have to do. That's why we give you so much time on a break so you can use it for downtime, but you also still have to be mindful because sometimes you come back and you forgot everything. And we don't have time to reteach you the stuff that you need to be successful in life and pass high school. So it is in the mindset that you are now young adults and you must do that. When I'm on break, I still have to prepare for when we come back. It is, it is it's your job. All right, so with that being said, going back to what we're going to be doing on today, this part actually is homework, looking up a game board. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. You have 25 minutes to go ahead and work on your questions on your project. At that, at, after that time, I will then stop you and we'll start working on the midterms review.